Hey everybody, we are at the last stage of what it's like to buy a car from a private party on Facebook Marketplace. The reason we're starting at the end in this video is it took a lot of work to get to this stage. Right now, Coop and I are driving up to New Hampshire. I've got my plates. We're gonna throw these things on the Beetle and we're gonna bring one home. But to get to this point, it takes a lot of work. And that's what this video is about. So the first thing we're going to be doing is searching on Facebook Marketplace. I guess this applies to Craig's list as well, but I know I want a Turbo S Beetle. So here goes. Here's my home page. I'm going to go back so you can see it from the beginning. There's my little Marketplace symbol. Here you go. We're obviously in COVID right now. And these are all the cars that it thinks I'm looking for. I've been looking a lot. So let's go up here. Search Marketplace over here. I want a Beetle Turbo S. All right, I kind of want one within 100 miles. Let's apply that. So these are all the cars, Beetle Turbo S's, within 100 miles of about where I am. First one, $3,500, New Hampshire. Let's take a look, right? We're, we're just gonna wanna see. And what are we looking for in these pictures? First thing, this guy obviously is pretty smart. He knows the interior is one of the most important things. If this is the driver's seat, this is the bolster. If there's wear on this bolster right here, that means it's a higher mileage car. And even higher mileage cars, you should see a car taken care of, right? So let's go through these pictures real quick here. Looks like he has aftermarket wheels. Very clean looking, right? Clean. That little light means it is a Turbo S. It's the only bumper that has that little light. I'm just gonna quickly go through six speed. It's one of the only cars back then that has six speed. So we're good here. This guy's at 3,500 bucks. He is definitely a candidate. We're gonna talk to him. Clean car. So let's go back and check the mileage here. Beautiful condition. 115,000 miles. Good car. I mean, you really can't do better than what we just looked at. Let's take a look here. $1,200. Volkswagen Beetle Turbo S. Now, you know, it looks like the wipers are up in the air. You see the water inside the windshield. If I'm looking closely, I can see the condensation in the windshield on the picture. A little warning sign there. I, I don't know why people blot out their license plate. I guess if you're a serial killer, you're going to go after this guy. I don't know. These are pretty bad pictures. So in general, this guy's already on the wrong foot, but you never know, maybe he's old, maybe he's 80, you know? It says driven 85,000 miles, he's asking $1,200. This is called a story car, what the hell is going on? Six speed man, needs hood fixed or new hood. Passenger mirror, has leather interior, heated seats, sunroof, looking for trade for a dirt bike. All right, he's probably a kid. No problem, West Hampton Mac. I still don't see any pictures of the interior. So we're gonna have to talk to this guy. Let's go to the next one. Now remember, these are Turbo S. This is a Turbo S model, very rare car, and I've already found two of them. Here's one here. I've already talked to this guy. Um, there's a kind of weird hood, I don't know. It's got the Turbo S light. See right in there, that little tiny, I'll put the cursor on it. Come on, zoom in, Coop. See that little tiny light there? That means it's a Turbo S, so we know. He's obviously got aftermarket rims right here. He's got a roof rack. Let's find out what's going on with this car. He's asking $4,500. Let's, I mean, when people are asking a lot of money, there's only two reasons for it. One is it's really a nice car, which is what you want. The other is he's looped, and you have to let it sit for a while. Remember, a lot of people who love their cars list it for a lot of money, even though the rest of the world isn't going to pay it. That's also a good thing, because over time, that person gets realistic if they really want to sell it, and we stay in touch with them. So we look for these high-priced cars. Real low-priced cars, there's always a big, major problem, usually. If you're a mechanic, good for you. But I'm talking to regular people, even as a guy who fixes these cars. I like getting a nice, clean car at the beginning. So let's go back. The aftermarket wheels, they look very nice, but not my style. Look at the interior. That looks good. That's a back seat. Front seat, look at the bolster. Clean. The armrest is usually all beat up. This one's clean. This is a nice car. Driven 91,000 miles. Wow, okay. He added the spoiler, he's got a roof rack. So we got some stuff going on here that's very special to him, but probably not to us. Not bad, I, I'm, I'm gonna say it, this is good. So let's go to the description real quick, see more. Mint Turbo S with low mileage, that's huge. That is huge. He was gonna lift it, so he's a car guy, if he's gonna lift it, I like that. His brand new VR6 Springs to do the lift, I don't want that. He has the original wheels and tires. So even though he did these modifications, he has the original stuff, that's huge. Brand new LED lights, not installed, okay. Peak tires, rally wheels. So, title in hand, ready to go, serious officer. This guy's serious, he's asking a lot of money for the car. We're gonna start talking to him, okay. Uh, we already saw this one, that didn't look great. Uh, that's pretty much it, folks. That's it, three cars, 
not a lot going on. It's a rare car. Remember, I'm surprised actually that we had three. So now we've made our decision. We've got three cars that we're going to talk about. We're going to contact each one of these people. And what do you say to the person on Facebook Marketplace? Number one is, I love your car. Compliment the person on their car. Okay? Whether they're asking a lot or a little, I love your car. Love Turbo S's. I would like to know more about these things. You ready? Mileage is usually listed. If it's not listed, ask how many miles on the car. If there's pictures of the interior, you want to see good pictures of the driver's seat. We don't care about the back seat. All back seats are perfect. Nobody sits back there. We need the driver's seat. And number three, you know, is there any, ask the person nicely. Please photograph any areas of the car where there's a problem. You know, rust or, you know, dents, things like that. You, you don't want to waste your time going to see a car if it's not what you think it is. How many owners has the car had? Are you the first or second or third owner? Ask that. Tires, brakes, all that kind of stuff. Maintenance records. Does the person have receipts? And that's enough for your early, you know, and you can do this one message at a time, see if the person gets back to you. Basically, I love the car. Tell me more about it. Then you're gonna get a response. I've already done this for you uh, the last few weeks. Message again. So this guy here, we had already talked earlier and we decided, I decided it was a little too much. This one was at four grand, I think, before. And I said, if you're down toward three grand, please give me a call. That's a gentle way to say your car is overpriced, right? This guy came back right away, $3,500 takes it. He's telling me all these great things he wants to sell and he came down $500,000 in the first conversation. We like this guy. I told him, I let him sit. Still $3,500 for me, I'm gonna let it sit. He asked, question mark, he's following up. And I said, thinking about it, he's a serious seller. But remember, he's high. I wanna be at two grand, 2,500, three grand max for a perfect car. If it's got any problems at all, I'm down at 1,500, two grand minimum, maximum. So let's take another quick look. All the lights work, new master selling. He's going through all this stuff, 30 MPG. He's selling his car, love this guy. And I said, I do love them. I wasn't ready at the time, but I wanted to keep them going. It's literally perfect. 3100 if you bring your own wheels. I had told him, I, I bought another car. He was, you know, I can't buy a car without wheels, right? So even I, I'm not gonna pack up wheels and go see the car. He was, there was another guy at the same price for a car that was a little better, and I ended up buying that one. But this is a great, for you people looking at cars, this would be the kind of guy you want. We're really convinced that this is a good car. Now, think about what you have to do though. You have to go up there with a set of rims before you even buy the car, and he's in New Hampshire. That's what killed it for me. If he would have said, I'll put a bunch of rims on it right now, I would have said, I'll come up there with plates, I'll buy the car. And then this one here is the one I ended up buying, $4,500. Basically, we did the same thing on this car. I went through with the customer, or the, the owner here of the car. I said, I don't need the roof rack. I don't need the fancy rims that you paid all that money for. Do you have the original wheels? He did. They had brand new tires on. Do you have the original hood? I don't know what the black hood was for. All the questions he answered me legitimately and honestly. And that's what you want. I went up there with Cooper last weekend. We bought that car. We did not buy it for $4,500. We bought it after all the stuff that it was valuable to him. He kept all that stuff. We got down to three grand. Buy the car for three grand. It's probably gonna cost us $500 of transport back and forth and all that stuff. So for $3,500, I got a car with 90,000 miles on it. Perfect interior. I'm gonna show you what we got in this video. You're gonna see us driving up there, the plates, the whole thing. It'll be a lot of fun. But in the search stage, ask your questions and then go visit with money, ready to bring it home. Don't go driving up to see a car just to see it. Bring money, be ready to offer this guy a good price, come to a deal and drive it away. Nobody wants to sit around, make a deal and then come back. Drive the thing away. So that's it for now. We've gone through how you search for the car. Now we're gonna show you what to look for when you actually see the car. You can only do so much with pictures, right? You need to see the car. You need to look at all the items we're gonna talk about next. And I'll show you, at least with the VW Beetles, what to look for. Okay, we made it home. We put the plates on the car. We haggled our best price. And this is what we got. Let me, let me show you. First thing we said you wanna look at in this car is the interior. Now you can tell it's a nice clean car. I mean, if you look at the outside, that's all nice. Great paint and everything. Here's the key. Remember, this is a car that's under $4,000 that was about 30 grand brand new. Check out these seats. This is a 90,000 mile Beetle. Look at all the, the side, everything. I mean, it's clean. An enthusiast had this car. Seats, you just want seats. None of this, none of the side bolsters here are ripped. A little bit of wear, sure, but man, nice. 
Now this particular car, sunroof, drains, there's no evidence of, of mold when you get in the car. A lot of beetles smell like crayons. And that's because the catalytic converter heat shield goes away and the little foam, that, or the little underlayment that's under the carpet has wax in it and it actually melts a little. Don't worry about crayons, we can fix that. Did we get receipts for the car? Yes, we did. Uh, a history of repairs, a history of oil changes, it came with the car. Check a look. Check a look. Let's take a look. So, nice new, a little cool new speed thing. So when I let up on the gas, it goes Kind of cool, turbo stuff. Basic, clean. On VWs, this little thing here comes off and gets torn and broken. You broke yours, right, Coop? I did. Yeah, there it is. This thing right here, fuse box, everything was good. So, clean car, no damage. Turbo S, we've got the cool little lights, remember? I told you I wanted to get a Turbo S. There it is. The little plastic gratings were here. The person took care of the car. So, for four grand, 3,500 bucks that we were in, into the car, fabulous. So, up front, we took care of it. Down back, check this out. A little bit of rust. Expected. Any car north of North Carolina is going to have a little bit of rust in this spot. You know why this happens? This little wheel well back here, the mud kicks up and builds up behind here from VW. We don't know why they designed it that way, but they did. And so there's mud under here. When I go to take this off, there's going to be a bunch of mud there. The mud causes a little rust. No big deal. This one won't even need welding, but even if this is rusty, who cares? That's the only rust on the car, usually, when you see these cars. One last thing. Two uh, problems, if you will, with this car. The little spoiler in the back. Come on back and take a look at this coupe. It's one of the coolest things and one of the kind of dumber things on a 1.8T. Regular 2.0 uh, Beetles have just glass and a little plastic thing. The glass goes all the way up. This is a little spoiler that comes up at about, well, what? 50 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour. This thing pops up. Well, this is stuck and there's an air light on the dash. No big deal. We can deal with that, but you'll see that a lot. Don't freak out about that. We have a check engine light on for an O2 sensor. Another, I drove it home. It's perfect. Not going to worry about that. So you're talking about a car here for under $4,000 that will go another 200,000 miles without much of any maintenance at all other than brakes and basic little stuff. Maybe a clutch at 150,000 miles, you know, for 500 bucks. Really, really good way to buy a good car for one-tenth of the price of a new car.